Welcome um, back to Cooking with Taylor, Taylor and Stefan. And these are our apples. Then we got our apples along our travels. Yeah. And in which state did we get these from? Um, Some of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the apples um, are so cool. This one got baked. It's got a baked. So we got these on our travels kind of through Pennsylvania. And the funny one was in Illinois. We didn't know there was a big storm coming. We pulled over, got some apples. Next thing we knew, we're driving in what felt like tornadoes. All for these apples. <laughs> um, it was not, uh, it was a waste of time, kind of. Well, so now we have a few different kinds of apples, and I'll show you the names in a little bit. Um, you have the green, and um, did you know, hold on, but these are actually used for the apple cider. We're not going to make apple cider because we didn't pick enough of these. Had we known, I think we would have picked a whole container of them just to make homemade apple cider. Okay. Um, yo, these, there's so many different things you can do um, from an apple pie to applesauce. Apple, um, so many things. And kind um, of like an apple tart, I forget the exact name, is what we're going to do with these apples. We're going to do applesauce or, better yet, we're going to do apple, apple butter. Pie, a, or apple pie, but do you know how many different types of apples? Um, we just bought like a few. Um, all apples. right, so we decided on two things because we think we have enough apples. We're not going to do applesauce because we've done that on a video before, even though it is delicious. But we're going to kind of do like an apple tart along with the apple butter. So we're going to do both with these apples, and I'm going to kind of show you briefly how to do each of them. But first, we got to cut all the apples, and Stefan would love to explain some of the different types of apples. Yeah. And we're going to put them all in one container, and then go in and work with them from there. So talk to that one. Um. This is the yummy apple I ever tried though. Yeah, everybody loved the apple that's used for the apple cider. It's really delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them just like this, mostly for the apple tart, but then for the apple butter, it's not gonna make a difference anyways because it's going in one crock pot. So at the end, it's blended up, so it will not matter. So we're gonna continue cutting all of these up. And what I will do, just in case I don't film it, is I'm gonna cut a lemon and I'm gonna squeeze it on top of the apples as I go this way. <laughs> Little scary, isn't it? <laughs> this way, they don't turn brown. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut the rest of these up. Eat an apple, um, this is the one good apple, but eat a wet apple. Uh, you just gotta find the white box, the glitty box, and then you hold it with your stuff and then you do, uh, then you break it open with a cream. And then you enjoy. Okay, so we have our smaller crock pot. Almost forgot the name. You can tell how much I use this. <laughs> so we have one, one five quart is what can fit in here. So that's how many apples we're gonna put in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put, just scoop them right in. We're gonna smush them down. And also, as you can see, we have the skin on. We're gonna have the skin on for every single one. I think it's crazy that we take off the skins on these apples. It adds color, and actually a lot of the nutrition does come from the color. And I know for some, they're worried about the wax on it, so that is a, a fair reason, but I don't think that's the main one. But these are all fresh from nature, so there's nothing bad on them. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, kind of scoot it over, should've done this first, and I'm gonna write the measurements too. We're adding our brown sugar in here. We can always add more sugar, if we need to, but for now, this is all we're adding. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of our water. And then we're gonna add, make sure you shake your um, raw apple cider vinegar. And we're gonna add about four tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar right in here. And you could always just do water instead if you want, but I like a mix. Okay, and then we have two more steps. We're going to add a half teaspoon of powdered ginger. And we're going to use the pumpkin spice because the pumpkin spice does not need to be used for pumpkin pie because it has the cloves, it has the nutmeg all in one. And we're gonna do one and a half teaspoon as well. And all we're gonna do is I'm gonna go teach and I'm gonna turn this right on to high and I'm gonna let it sit pretty much overnight. All right, so this is set all night pretty much. And I'm gonna add now our one spoonful of raw honey 
And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stir this, and then now we have to blend it up in our Nutribullet. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it definitely is a very dark color now. It really helped. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour it all the way back in here. We'll go ahead and scoop that rest out. And what we wanna do is we wanna turn this on the higher temperature with the lid off so it steams out any extra liquid out of here. And then taste now to add any more sweetener or anything that needs to be added to it. Okay, so we have our nine apples in here and then we have one fourth cup of the cane sugar and one tablespoon of just the regular sugar as well, non-bleached of course. And then we're gonna mix this up and then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of raw okay. honey. All I'm gonna do for this is just sprinkle on some pumpkin spice, or if you just have cinnamon, that's great too. We'll give this a mix. And then what I have next, and I did try this without cornstarch, but actually it, it is a little bit runny. It's still tasty. Um, so I am adding about two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch in here, and we're gonna go ahead and mix next this up. we're gonna add is, you can make your own pastry, um, and sometimes I do do that, but today we're just gonna go ahead and use just the puff pastry here. So I'm gonna open it up. I already put some olive oil in here so it didn't stick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the this out. The last thing that I'm gonna add in here, just two tablespoons of butter. Not too warm, but definitely warm enough that you can work with. So we went ahead and rolled that out a little bit more. And the fun part is just putting all the apples kind of in the middle. You can lay them out cute. Okay, well. and the next part is, and you can use as many as those apples that you want. I actually, for this, you could make two, um, unless you make a big enough pastry. So then all you want to do is kind of lay it over it. All I did was I did a quick little egg wash on there. You could sprinkle some sugar on top just to get, it looks pretty basically is the only reason. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and pop this into the oven. All right, so we're all finished with our apples. So I'm gonna start with the applesauce. I didn't show you how to make this applesauce because we've done it in the past. We just happen to have extra apples to use. But you know what's great is taking it out, and I know these clay pots sometimes are going out of fashion. I'm not really sure why, because they add a wonderful flavor. They're great for Moroccan dishes, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but really, people always think of cold applesauce. My mom and I were talking about this, and she's right. But instead, why not bake this and take it out of the oven nice and warm, all the aromas on a cold day, and have it even for a dessert or a snack and gather around the table and eat this. And you know, I think what's great about applesauce, it's healthy. So that's even a better key. And now I wanna look at the apple butter. So apple butter is something that I decided to experiment with this year. You know, I know as a child, we really didn't have it much, but the times we did, I always thought, oh, apple butter must be horrible for you. The name apple butter, you think there's butter. But it turns out, Apple butter is quite good for you. It's apples, the sugar, if you could supplement it with honey, that helps. So there's that one not so good part, but then you have the apple cider. So it's really definitely a healthier alternative for your toast. And we did try it on some Tuscan bread toasted. That was delicious. And then we have the rustic apple tart. And that's just beautiful. Definitely not nutritious, but really good, tasty. It just looks great. And I just want to say one more thing is, you know, with fall coming, you could give these as gifts. You could get ribbons. I was going to show you guys a ribbon. You could wrap it around with jars for apple butter. You could make some applesauce. Any of these are great for presents. So just enjoy your apples while they're in season. And I do have to say, if you can actually pick them fresh without all the wax on it and who knows what else is on it, um, the taste is different. Some of them are stronger with a mix and leave your peel off. It's crazy to peel. It's like peeling a mango. We eat our mangoes just whole. Sometimes we picked it up like an apple as well because all the nutrition is also in the peel. I think just if you're buying it from the store, rinse it, which I can remind myself too. Well, please subscribe, like, and share, and let me know what you're doing with your apples this year. Have a great day.